have you seen Jessica Simpson lately? Dang, Jessica, you look good. What's your secret? Turns out it's not really a secret. It's a diet that a ton of celebrities have been raving about from Kim Kardashian to Megan Fox to Amanda Seyfried. The Body Reset Diet is a diet created by Harley Pasternak, a personal trainer of Jessica Simpson and a slew of other celebrities. So I bought his book and I'm gonna give it a whirl. Hi, I'm Kara and you're watching my channel, Kara C. And for the next 15 days, I'm going to be trying the Body Reset Diet. Before we get started, I just want to make sure you know, I'm not a doctor or anything in the health field, so if you do want to try a diet like this, I would recommend consulting a physician. What I already like about this book is that he's already acknowledging that most diets don't work, which in my experience, I have found to be true. He says that the Body Reset Diet is easier, cheaper, and I'll be eating more fruits and vegetables than I'll even know. It all sounds good. Let's put that to the test. So there are three phases to the diet. Each phase lasts five days, and phase one is very brutal. It consists of three smoothies and two small snacks per day. So I had my boyfriend Jeremy do the body reset diet with me and I think we would both agree that phase one was very difficult. I just felt very hungry and it was such a reduction in the amount of calories. Uh, I think I went from eating probably 2,500, possibly more a day, I wasn't keeping track, to around 1,100 calories eaten in smoothies. I'm eating a pear as one of my extra snacks for the day and it's all right, but what I really wanna be eating is some Doritos. Also, we were supposed to get 10,000 steps in every day. I work an office job, I don't have a lot of walking in my day, and then I get home after a long day of work and it's dark out. How am I supposed to get my steps in every day? The best place I know of to get my steps in, Disney World. Let's go get our steps in. There's only one problem. Everything smells so good. It's fair, you're walking down the street where they pump out fake good smells. I hit 10,000 steps, one out of five days. But even without being able to get my steps in every day, I still lost over seven pounds in the first five days. I think my biggest complaint was that we had to go to the grocery store almost every day because we just didn't know how much of things that we were gonna use and we were constantly running out of stuff. We just went grocery shopping for like, what, the third time, time this, this week? And although it's all healthy and good stuff, we've spent like $200. In phase two, you get two smoothies a day, two small snacks a day, but instead of having a third smoothie, you get a solid meal. Yay! It was a nice refreshing change to be able to pick out a recipe out of Harley's book that was solid food, and phase two was really fantastic. This is the 10 minute stir fry with chicken, vegetables, and brown rice. We get to eat our first meal in like five, six days. I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, just staring at it and smelling it and my body is like, I'm ready to eat that. And so I am. Oh, I've missed solid food. Other than like a cracker. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. It's pretty mm -hmm. good. This is a Mexican chicken salad with spicy salsa dressing. That is so good. We got a hot salsa and it has like a lot of kick to it mm, that I really, really like. It was pretty hard to accommodate making smoothies throughout the week during work. I ended up just making both my breakfast and my lunch smoothie in the morning before I went to work. They're not as good after several hours of sitting in the fridge, but I found that that seemed to work 
pretty well still. I also really love some of the smoothies. Like there's a tropical one that has mango and pineapple and banana and yogurt and flax seeds and it's just so good. That one's definitely my favorite. Also there's the standard red, white, and green that in phase one you eat one of each color uh, per day. And although the green one took a little bit of adjusting to, I ended up really liking them overall. Other smoothies, however, were not so good. This one is a cucumber lime smoothie. Um, so it's pretty much the same. It still has grapes. It's pretty much the same. It just has cucumber instead of spinach. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I hope I like it better than the spinach one. Oh God, I don't. Ew. Cucumber. So overpowering. Why? Why would we choose this? my new least favorite smoothie. We were supposed to start doing these resistance training exercises and I just didn't do them in phase two at all. And I still lost three pounds just in phase two alone, which is pretty good. I definitely think I would have lost more had I been able to get my 10,000 steps in and do those resistance exercises. And also we bought an air popper for popcorn and I just kept snacking on popcorn and other things. I mean, overall on average still, we're only eating 1100, maybe 1200 calories a day with the two snacks included. I just maybe added a couple extra snacks here and there. In phase three, you get to swap another solid meal for a smoothie. So you're now eating one smoothie a day and two solid meals and two small snacks of 150-ish calories each. You're still supposed to get 10,000 steps in every day, which for me, it just wasn't feasible. And Harley doesn't really push for cardio, but I wasn't getting my steps in. So phase three, I started getting up in the morning and going to the gym. I went a little rogue but I got my steps in. I lost over 15 pounds in 15 days. And I feel really good, not just about losing the weight, but just how I feel eating the things that I am. In the past, I have tried a lot of fad diets where I've lost weight, but then I've gained that weight back and usually some additional weight. But this does not feel like a diet. It definitely feels more like a lifestyle change, and it's a lifestyle change that I really like. I don't feel starved, I don't feel deprived, I'm eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, I am even eating brown rice. I thought I hated brown rice, but it turns out I actually kind of like that, and I, I didn't know I like brown rice now. Phase three is essentially what Harley recommends that you do I guess for the rest of your life. It's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. It's almost all either natural fruits and vegetables or pretty basic guidelines that are pretty easy to follow. And the best part, we get two free meals a week. So maybe I want ice cream next Sunday and I can have it. It can be one of my free meals. That is just one more thing to love about this diet. It's just, really simple to maintain. Don't get me wrong, the first few days are awful. Complete garbage, if you ask me. But I think that's part of the transition. Like, if we had just been eating our Taco Bell three times a week like we were before, and then I tried to force my body to eat brown rice, my body would have been like, um, no, I'm not eating that. It really took eating smoothies for five days in a row to make me realize that yeah, I can enjoy these healthier foods that I'm now eating. I can honestly see us eating like this and eating these healthier meals as a lifestyle now. The recipes are all pretty good. Some are better than others. It just tastes like a healthy Arby's sandwich. But I did just learn that Harley has a whole separate book that's just a cookbook. 
So if the Body Reset Diet is something that you're considering, I would recommend checking it out. Again, not a doctor. You're just getting the opinion of a random stranger on the internet. But I do think that if you try it, you may lose weight, you may feel better, you may find that it's a pretty simple diet to follow and that the recipes are pretty easy to make and pretty tasty. If you like this video, make sure you check out this playlist right here. And as always, strive valiantly, my friends.